Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lost Things Gaming 2005 Spring Season. Yeah, get a Porsche for 20 points, not a new car, but never mind. And a backstage pass for 40 points. The aerial atom is the subject of the falls from this week and a pretty straightforward one to complete. So I've got no particular worries when it comes to that. So falls fun, only drive the atom. Six stars at speed traps, take a photo, win a road race. I've got a tune up beer test too, it's pretty powerful and shouldn't be a problem. Yes, 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 you all know what this one is. The easy road circuit, one lap. It's done some heavy lifting the last few weeks, so using it again because why not? The shop, Lambo Centenario, the backstage pass, the extreme e outfit. Can't hear you. That's the emote and a Dodge Viper Formula Drift car. Got a wheel spin, super wheel spin if you fancy them as well. The trial, Rally Monsters in the A-Class, Monster Sports Cars A-Class, and the Caterham RS500 in the A-Class are your things for the event labs. Yes, the Caterham, never mind. The Elbows Out, A-Class, Rally Monsters, the Opel Manta 400, Bob tune by Atelier's, something like that. It's been tested by the guys on the forums, all good. The event labs, Modern Sports Cars, BMW Roadster, base down low, 2448 tuned it on me so caterham yeah why not your grundy's tune caterham it's a bloody roller skate that thing not a fan of it but it's a it's what you have to use pr stunts is stadio festival speed zone los campos track toys in the s1 and s1 drift cars yeah why not so stadio that's where it is it's by the stadium as you can imagine a bit of a run down there a bit of a pain got my speeds by going off road Festival Speed Zone is pretty much smack into the wall and ride the last corner, but never mind. No targets, so I don't know, we'll see. So 171 mile now in Porsche 911, 182 mile now in BMW, and 107 in Porsche, 112 in the BMW. So I've got the M3 GTR and I've got the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. The videos I'm making are going to feature the BMW. I'm not making videos with the GTR because I think the BMW is a better one. Los Campos, it's a drift zone. And I don't know, easy enough, I guess. 120,000 for three star. Don't know what the target is, but we should be okay. I managed to hit 166,000 in the Chevy Corvette Formula Drift car. I picked this one because it's very cheap in the auto show. You don't have to waste your points in the shop. So championships, 50 years of Porsche, Porsche 911 S1, which is where you get the new car, and half a mil, retro supercars, 500,000 credits or less in the A-Class. So the Porsche one, yeah, 911 GT3 RS from 2019, PR candidate by me. This is what I tested for the PR stunts, but didn't go with it in the end. For the half a mil, the Lambo Diablo SV, I've got a zipper PL's tune on it. This is pretty respectable and should be fine. Photo challenge, race past the camera to see a flash, basically, well, just do 200 mile now past the speed camera, right? That'll be fine. And photograph any Porsche while in a race at the Horizon Oval circuit. Again, nothing too problematic. Then you got a Horizon open race event in a track toy, yeah. Something like that will do. That's for Porsche 911 for 2019. A very happy looking car, isn't it? Just, just really glad to be there, you know, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Expansion packs, Devil's Pass, Hammer Shadow, Retro Racing, or Racing Retro even, and ahead of a pack. So Drift Cars in the S1, Retro Sports Cars in the A-Class, and Extreme Track Toys in the S2. So Devil's Pass, Drift Zone, not a fan of this, but it wasn't too bad, actually, in this Formula Drift car. I managed to beat my personal best, which is fantastic. So again, this is the one from Los Campos using this very good happy enough happy enough with whatever the target ends up being retro racing mazda miata the mx5 i've got the tune on there by i'm not going to pronounce that because i'm going to make sound like i'm calling him an ass or something but hammer shadow that's s2 extreme track toys yeah why not i did try this in the atom got 238 from the force from Mosa got 258 and Majesco, just because I'm mad, got 263, which was a new personal best. So the Force Fun tune's already been up. 
and Mrs. Vajesco and Mats for Mosler. And again, with the championships, S2 Extreme Track Toys. Mosler, I'd probably recommend because it's a bit more stable, but if you just want blind power, go for Vajesco. But that's basically what we've got, you know. That's not too bad. And that is the playlist for the week. No new car 20, but you got a backstage pass. And next up, we've got the holiday stuff. Yeah, why not? The Rise and Holiday Mix-Up. Yeah, what means by mix-up? I don't really know. Is it going to be just a mishmash of all the other holidays and all the bits and bobs? But I'm expecting the ice rink to come back. Secret Santa, obviously. You can end up with decorations up at Maligue and Guanato. And just stuff like that, plus whatever else comes in. And this is where things are going to start getting a little bit difficult, I think, because we've had our final live stream last month. And we don't know what's happening. I'm led to believe that the devs are going to be publishing this information up on the uh, Forza Net website. But I don't know when. I don't know whether it's going to be in line with how the live streams were, where they'd put them out a few days before the summer changeover and show the month from there, or whether they're going to stick to their usual social media publishing schedule, which is Wednesday night US time, which is usually early morning UK time Thursday. This is how they normally publish on other social platforms. So if they stick to that, I might be in a little bit of trouble because I use these screenshots. I look what requirements are, I go into game, I record things, I put together a car list and test a couple of things as I get time and just, just make videos. This is how I do it. But it's all depending on having this information. If this is out, as a normal kind of live stream schedule, but on the website. It's not a problem. I'll just continue as I've, as I've been doing. But if it's going out late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, this is going to be a bit problematic for these first look videos. I can normally do at a push for recordings, get the stuff out for Thursday afternoon, maybe at a push. But these first look ones would definitely be problematic. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's going to be a, one of these videos next week or not. I've got no other way of finding out. I'm not one of these lucky, lucky people who get sent the press packs and information early. How do you get that other than being a massive creator? Yeah, anyway, I don't get that stuff. And long gone are the days where I could just put some of Keir Starmer's election promises, printed out, put them into the... Mr. Fusion and go and jump ahead and get a heads up on what was coming up in the, in the series. Can't do that stuff anymore. So I'm reliant on the officially published stuff. So when this goes out, I don't know. So this time next week, you may have a video, you may not. But we shall see, I guess. But this is what we've got. This is the end of series 40, going into series 41, which is all going to be all festive and jolly and all ho, ho, ho and all that lot. So as I find out more, I will let you know. I probably should start using my blog a bit more because I pay enough money for that hosting. I don't know, we'll see what happens, I guess. So if I see you this time next week, I see you this time next week. If I don't, I don't, you know. So until next time, thank you for watching and take it easy.